Hey, welcome back to my channel, Riddle here. And this may be self-explanatory, but it might not be. If you're an American who has never drank espresso or made espresso before, and you're traveling through Europe or some of the other countries that espresso is the norm and not a percolated coffee maker, this could be really helpful for you. So we're doing an Airbnb in Venice and included in the price is this small kitchen and basic utensils. And here is our espresso pot. So what you have to do if they don't provide you with coffee is you have to buy some finely ground coffee or espresso coffee. We got this for like under three euro and it's great. It's very tasty. You pop open your bag and then you have your pot. And what you do, you have to unscrew the pot from the bottom and then you have your coffee chamber, which looks like it has little holes in the bottom of it. Now in the bottom of your espresso machine, you're gonna fill the water, but not too high, just so it reaches the bottom of the chamber here. Once your water is filled in the bottom, you put your chamber back in, and then you pack that with your coffee, your fine ground coffee. I've already put my coffee in there, sorry, I got ahead of it, but I thought of making the video after I started the process, and I thought, people may need to learn how to do this if you've never done it before. So you pack that in, not jam-packed, but firmly packed with your finger, and then we screw our coffee on top of our espresso pot back on firmly. Again, you don't want to put it on too hard because you're going to have to take it off again, but it's just a nice turn. And then your stove, you're going to have large burners and small burners, and it's the small burner that we're going to choose to do our espresso on. So, oh. press the button. Oh, well, you get the idea because <laughs> I can never get this damn thing to work. You put your espresso pot on top of the small flame. There we go. Thank you. And then you patiently wait. And what will happen in about five to 10 minutes, if you're using a small flame like that, is that the espresso will become bubbling up inside of your espresso pot. And once it's full, you know all the water has been extracted and you can shut your flame off. It'll fill up to about there. Shut your flame off and then you look in the cupboard for your little tiny espresso cups and you enjoy your coffee. And that's it, it's as simple as that. It's really old school and um, if you don't know how to do it, now you do. Enjoy your espresso and then you can go sightseeing like crazy. Caffeine stimulated. There's no me without caffeine.